Okay, so how do narcissistic people decide who they're going to hate? And why was it you? Why was it me? My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Before I get into this message, I want to let you know that I'm taking one-on-one -on -one appointments down below in the description box. You'll find access to my direct calendar to schedule some one-on-one -on -one time with me. Now, the question is, how do narcissistic people decide who they're going to hate? And why does it seem they have chosen you? Why have they chosen me? Why are we here? Well, in order to understand this question, we actually need to flip the question around. The better way to ask this question is this. How do narcissists decide who they're going to like? And why is it not you? And why is it not me? Now, why is this a better question? Well, it makes more sense because once you understand narcissists and you understand toxic relationships, you're going to know that the narcissist's default perception in the world is that of envy, hate, greed, malice, jealousy. This is their default view of the world around them. And so what you're going to discover is that it's not just you. It's not just me. It is, in all reality, everybody. Narcissistic people typically live in a world that is them against everybody in the world. They are in competition with everyone. And so this changes the question altogether, which is going to give you the answer, by the way. So the question how do narcissistic people choose who they're going to like? Well, the answer is this. There's one of two types of people that narcissistic people will get along with and like. One type is the classic empathic, and I use the word empathic, but it's not empathic in a good way. It's empathy to the extent of falling into the trap of believing the narcissist and then becoming an enabler. And this is, by the way, is one of the dangers of being a loose cannon empath, not knowing exactly what your empathy means by buying into a sob story and then enmeshing and joining with a narcissistic person. And suddenly you're carrying all their pain and anger and even being angry at the people that they're angry with. That takes a really weird amount of empathy. That's why you do not want to allow your empathy to go down that route. You always want to keep yourself separated, especially until you really know somebody and you firsthand experience what it is that they're experiencing and then you can help them out. Otherwise, you might just be aligning yourself as an enabler with a narcissistic person. Narcissists love people who just buy into their stories and become enablers. They become, according to a narcissistic part of their little army, to do their bidding. They're flying monkeys, if you will. So these are one of the rare types of people that narcissists like, right? Why wouldn't they like them? They're on the narcissist side. They're there looking up to the narcissist. They're to do the narcissist bidding in life. So the narcissist will like that person, all right? What's another type of person a narcissistic individual will like? It seems they like people who they engage with who they really don't know and who don't know them. This is why it's very common for you to see narcissistic people who have it out for you, right? But they're really kind and nice and they act like they like your brothers or your sisters or your friends or this and that. And you're scratching your head going, what the heck? Why do they like them? Well, the reason they like them, the reason the narcissistic person likes them is because they don't know them. They haven't seen the narcissistic rage. Nor does the narcissist know your siblings or your friends. Doesn't know them. So it's a, an area of fakeness, of shallowness, as we call it, of putting the narcissist's best foot forward, just saying hi, being friendly, just because there's great distance. So it seems as though narcissists like people who they don't know and who don't know them, right? And I know it seems like it goes against what I said earlier about how they're against the world, but keep in mind, 
narcissists are also able to understand certain people they're not really in competition with, and so it doesn't matter. But still, they're able to be nice to certain people. We look at that as them liking them, but it's really just a shallow, we don't know each other, right? And so we'll get along type of a thing. So now let's talk about why narcissistic people don't like you and didn't like me as well in the relationship. Number one, we are too independent. If you're too much of an independent person and you show your independence and authenticity, which separates you from aligning yourself with a narcissistic person, in other words, you don't fall for their BS and agree with them on everything that they say and do, that's an instant no, no, you're out. They can't stand you. As a matter of fact, you're the enemy to them. They do not have the ability to coexist, if you will, with opposing views, especially those who are independent thinkers. They have a real problem with independent people because you're just not controllable. They know that you have the ability to leave, to do what you want to do, to think on your own. They can't stand that because there's no way for them to ever feel like they can have any control over you. Okay. And that's one reason they don't like you, your independence. The second reason is because you're, you've become too intimate. So if you become too intimate with a narcissistic person, you know too much about the ways in which they rage, the ways in which they flip, the ways in which they can't control themselves. That level of intimacy to a narcissist now becomes a threat. It threatens the shallow facade that they like to put out to those who don't know them. Right? That's their game. The people who they do like, they do pretend to like, right? And the people who like them, they, they're afraid that you threaten that because you know too much. You've seen too much. You know the truth. You threat to expose them, even though you have no intentions to. You could be like, hey, I'm not going to talk about you, all right? Whatever. You do you. I just want away from you. Narcissistic people are like, no, 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 dude. You've seen too much. You have seen too much. And now you got to go. I've got to hurt you. I've got to make sure that I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be good, right? So I hope this answers the question as to why narcissistic people uh, don't like you, why they choose who to like and who they don't. It's just a matter of understanding that narcissistic people typically hate everybody. It's not a matter of them choosing who to hate. It's a matter of them choosing who to like and why, right? And that's just a couple of the reasons. I invite you to share other reasons that you have found as to why narcissistic people like or don't like certain individuals, write it in the comment section down below. Share it with all of us. And also down below, be sure to check out in the description box uh, my one-on-one -on -one time. We could do a FaceTime, telephone call, or a text message consultation. The direct link to my calendar is down below. Also down below, you'll find access to Monday Night Live chat. Saturday morning is Royal We Fellowship. Follow me on Instagram at Join the Royal We. And I'll be back with more videos for you right here on the Royal We.